I thought so. I mean, I, he had really good physical stuff from, my, from where I was sitting. The, the command was off a little bit with the fastball. And um, I did not want to let them back into that game right there. I thought it was really important that we did not. Um, you know, it's been my experience when you get to the point where you, you get to the playoffs, there's, there's some really, really great work done in the fifth, sixth, and seventh inning by relievers that never get any credit for it. And that, that's what happened today. I mean, we did give up the two-run homer. Hunter gave it up. But Grimmer was fabulous. And then everybody that uh, uh, followed him, they were really good. Uh, Modder was outstanding today, too. Just looking at it, I knew the bullpen was rested. I knew we had the, the guys to do it, just trying to figure it out in advance how it was going to play. And it, I thought it could play. But it came down to they got the two-run homer. They were a very experienced team. Um, you, could, you could feel or sense that they were feeling pretty good about where they were at. And I thought we'd have to do something differently just based on I thought Hammer had great uh, velocity and stuff, but the command was not there tonight. Going back to what you said, using the word playoff, are you saying that going forward here, in these kinds of games, you're going to manage those playoffs? Um, I, well, I don't believe I do it every night, but um, you know, more, more so right now, I think as we're getting to this particular juncture of the season, um, you don't want to just give anything away, especially when you have a lead like that. I mean, that's, that's part of it. I mean, it's, it's a, that was just that game. It was. August 6th, the way the game was playing tonight, um, you get off to such a quick lead like that, to relinquish that and lose that game is a very difficult loss, and especially to this particular team right now. So I just thought um, we did not want to let it slip away tonight. I know you downplayed the importance of any one game or series, but did you sense the atmosphere tonight? Oh, the atmosphere is great. It's really, it was fabulous. Um, it was fabulous. I think everybody was engaged. Um, if uh, you, were, you were in attendance or watching on TV, I'm sure you were totally entertained. <laughs> Uh, it was entertaining in the dugout, almost too entertaining in the dugout. Now, did you make a conscious effort to get everybody in the game? Or did you no, I wasn't conscious. I mean, it just happened because of um, you know what had happened early when I what I did with the pitching right there, and um, the way it was all playing out was um, you just, again you just start counting, 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 and like Schwarber right there at the end. I mean, really looking for him to get his last at bat in that in the eighth inning, but it didn't happen. But I'm not going to. With the lead, I felt really good about Rossi finishing with Rondon. So you just have to do it. You just do it, and you don't um, stray from that because of what may happen. What is happening is that you have the lead. Ronnie's rested. Um, there's a good part of the batting order coming up versus him that he should uh, match up well against. So it, was, it, it played out well. When Hamill uh, Wade went down there, do you or somebody else on the staff say something to him afterwards? Yeah, I will talk to him, absolutely, because I, you know it's um, it's not a lack of confidence by any means. It's just uh, it's it's just the moment. Every every game has its own unique characteristics. Uh, the way this game was playing tonight, if we didn't have that rested of a bullpen, I probably would would have chosen to do something differently. Also, um, having all those three lefties out there, even though we didn't use them, uh, also permitted me to do things tonight that I, you know, with Belton Crawford there and um, back to back. There's different things we could have done, but it just played out in the way that it did, and um, so. Richard being in the bullpen with the length, Woody with length, Russell actually there was there was reasons why I felt we could do things tonight. What do you mean by almost too interesting? Does that look crazy in there? Oh no, I'm just you know the the fact that the game was uh, it was it was tight, it was intense. Yeah, it was great. Guys were into it. Oh, totally, it was beautiful, man. That's what it's supposed to feel like. That's what it's supposed to look like. That's what everybody's looking for. Um, I love that kind of a moment. I think it's great, and I want our guys to embrace it also. What about? Across the dugout when you're managing against the, one of the best guys. Yeah, I know. I've known Boach since the '80s, man. I mean, uh, when he was managing in Riverside, I was a roving instructor the night that Jose Valentin beat Palm Springs with a home run down a right field line. He was the manager of uh, uh, Riverside, um, so I've seen him for a long. I know how good he is. He's a great guy. He's not a good guy. He's a great guy. My son did a photography shoot with him a couple years ago in, in Phoenix. He treated Joey like gold, man. It was great. So. I have nothing but great respect for him. But do you get going with man knowing you're managing against one of the best teams and the best managers in the game? Yeah, I mean, it's just, um, you know, I, I, try, I don't think I try to do anything differently. I'm just aware that he's aware. You know, that's the kind of thing. He's definitely aware of what's going on. Um, you can see that by the different things he did with his bullpen tonight. So um, it's just, um, it's beautiful, man. So I'm curious, you know, when we talk about Chris Bryant seeing really good pitches yep. from pitchers, I mean, is, is Kyle getting a Oh, he's, they're working him hard. They're working him hard. The big thing with him, he's not chasing out of his zone right now. 
and that's why he's, he's doing all that damage. He's getting good counts, and when they throw a pitch that he likes, he's not missing it. The big thing with that is when you, when you work to a good count and you see something you like, you can't take it and you can't foul it off. You have to keep it fair and hit it hard, and that's what he's been doing. Um, can he continue to do it? I think he can. Um, he's got a short, compact swing, and he's got a nice – he's different. The way he starts the bat, with he's really handsy. He's got, a, he's got a nice way about him. It's not common. There's no question. It's not common. Um, uh, he's got. I love the way he starts the bat because it's it, like I said. He really uses his hands well. It's not an aluminum bat army swing. It's a very much a wooden bat, hands handsy swing. And I and I, it's not going to go away. He's going to struggle at some point. Of course he is. Um, he's he's had some swing and miss in the past. But I mean he's, he thinks he can hit. He knows he can hit, and that's a big part of his success. The offense like. Well, some signs that I mean, I, I really like Soler's at bats tonight. I thought that looked really good, and that's very encouraging because that could be a big part of <coughs> our success moving forward. I thought KB had some really good at bats tonight. Also, he's staying on the ball a little bit better, I think. Um, Rizzo continues to stay hot. Uh, Coglin almost had a, you know, Coglin and and and, and uh, Pence both probably hit home runs early in that game uh, with different um, atmospheric conditions. So. Coglin continues to swing the bat. Well, there's a lot of good stuff going on there. and uh, But primarily, if we get Brian and Soler back to normal, that'll be huge for us. Addison, Addison also. I mean, outside of that last, that bat against Rome has been really good, too.